How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of mystery beers, courtesy of my boy, Jason, from Corny Craft Beers. Uh, yeah, he sent me off a couple two-tree Star Wars wrapped, I would say, kind of spirit of Christmassy wrapped, I guess, with that red. Or maybe Sith wrapped. Mystery beers. So we got that going on. And uh, we're on that haze game, baby. Just rich, hazy, single, probably more like double IPA, pinky finger, tight, compact head. Looks all that part of the juice. And love me a little bit of Star Wars theme. Let's tilt that so it looks a little bit better. And yeah, I mean, she looks the part of a big old hazy. Saving it a nose. Hmm. Nice citrus. Nice grapefruit, I should put. Very grapefruit leaning. There's something to it. Can't really put my finger on. But it's very much grapefruit leaning. Uh, I assume somebody's higher ABV, uh, single IPA, if not double IPA. Um, you know, give or take mid sevens. Let's put it somewhere around there. Grapefruit leaning. I think it's pretty much just the base kind of double dry hopped, kind of new school, kind of hazy IPA. Done and done. Let's dive into the taste. Cheers. Ooh. There's a big, ranky, ranky, ranky weed component to this. Big, huge. There's gobs of green weediness, both pulling weed, smoking weed, all kinds of weed greeniness that kind of is accentuated. It's not accentuating. It's accentuated by that kind of grapefruit sweetness and kind of pithy kind of bittering rindiness so it's almost like when you talk about somebody talks about weed and kind of like a cush kind of component and be like it tastes like bubble gum or it tastes like citrus this is kind of like a super grapefruity weed kind of component floating around here huge aggressive all the trigger words you want to say about i don't even know if it's a double ipa i think it might be a single ipa that's just like gob hopped like crazy like one of those where they say we quadruple hopped it like we threw so many hops at this it's just off the charts not overly sweet there's sweetness there but that bittering kind of tempers that back but there is a nice soft sweetness underneath that I should probably even way bigger than the soft sweetness but like I said that bittering kind of keeps it down that bittering comes through ends with a little bit of dryness I like this as an impact beer is this kind of like a 16 ounce beer for me not really it's kind of more like a share beer or something I like to split with somebody uh, it's very aggressive very over the top maybe this is like if you're gonna have four or five beers in the night kind of end with this one um, so it kind of makes me want to make it higher ABV but I'm not really getting a big booze component off it but I want to go higher let's call it 7.8 so this is somebody 7.8% hazy IPA with just a gross amount of hopping to it. I think that it, that's it. I don't think there's really much else going on in this sucker. Let's find out. Dude. Uh, Jason with the sweet electrical tape pull tabs that I love so much. And then we have one little piece of mask. Ooh, it's a cycle beer. First off. Let's just keep going around on this one. Okay, and this is their DDH Double India Pale Ale. Um, this is uh, 8%, so I said 7.8. They called it a double, so it's right on the edge of that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, too, and it's funny because it's just like DDH Double IPA. Um, upload. Sorry, I was going to be like, they didn't even give it a name, but it is. Upload. This is just ridiculously hot. Like, this is like all the hops are belong to us kind of thing, to where there's just a super copious amounts of an insane amount of hops in here. And it's kind of cool the way it plays that trick because on the nose, it's really just more citrus than anything else and grapefruit leading at, at that. When you actually get into the taste, that just big weed kind of danky green component kind of comes to a head. So it kind of fucks your brain a little bit in a fun way. I like it in, in, in the sense that it's a fun impact beer. Like I said, again, it's not something that I would sit down and kind of wish I had a four pack of this to kind of drink on. It's not a chugger. Um, but, um, but man... When I talk about some, when I get in my soapbox and I talk about, I want the beer to be impactful for its ABV because, uh, you know, sometimes you have the, these 8% double IPAs that drink more like 4 5%. No, 
you're getting all the impact in this one. So I can't sit here and say, oh, I wish this was a little bit lower in ABV. No, because this is giving me all the impact I want at that ABV. And this is kind of what I talk about when I say breweries do these things. They can do these things. So, you know, even though I haven't had a ton of cycle beers, I should say hazy, hoppy forward cycle beers. I mean, this is the stuff I want when it hit, comes to hit 8%. I like variants on it. I like the stuff that skews a little bit different in sweetness, a little bit different as far as hop expression. But as far as volume, as in equating to an ABV, that be where it should be. Um, is it one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late? Actually, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be number one, number two, number three, number four, but it's definitely eking up there just from the sure impact of the beer in a positive way. Uh, it kind of puts it up there. Valued availability, no idea what cycle comes in at, especially if they're hazy. So if, um, you know, uh, anybody out there, Jason, or anybody else out there in the Florida want to let me know what's what, that would be awesome. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer, if you just like copious amounts of hops, just crazy dry hopping in a beer, then this is going to do it for you uh, because that is what you're getting in very big fashion. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little DDH double IPA right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.